There's going to be a big red wave. Don't worry about coming out and voting, Republicans. Third parties can never win elections because of the voting system that is currently in place. The vast majority of the United States, for almost every election, all the way from presidential down to local mayoral and representative elections, use the first-past-the-post voting system. This system inherently tends to cause two parties to rise to the top and a third party to only exist when some people get fed up, but then be exploited by one party that's more distant from the ideals of the third party to take votes away from their opposition. First-past-the-post encourages strategic voting, meaning you vote based on how you think other people will vote, not based on how you actually feel. First past the post is not the only voting system, though. There are systems such as the alternative vote or the single transferable vote that have different ways of counting up the votes. Most of the systems that exist that do a good job of things like avoiding the effects of gerrymandering, preventing strategic voting, and getting more representative and desirable representation tend to be designed to simulate multiple runoff elections to bring down a candidate pool to a set number of candidates. These systems are very interesting and I can't describe them to you here. My advice would be to go watch CGP Grey's Voting Systems series. Start with the problems with first past the post voting and then move on to the other voting systems that he describes. If you find yourself aligned with neither the Democrat package nor the Republican package, for example, like me, I don't have a problem with abortion, but I do have a problem with banning guns. But wait, those are different parties. So who do I vote for? Well, I'm a man, so I guess I could deprioritize abortion and go Republican. But Republicans are also responsible for dumb shit like banning video games. Because violence totally is caused by video games. And it's definitely not a cathartic outlet for violence that reduces violence. Mm-hmm. But that's a psycho view that's not supported by any evidence. And all of the studies that do support that view were bogus artificial that were manufactured to create the narrative and support it rather than actually being studies performed in a scientifically valid manner. Yeah, I'm not wanting to vote for Republicans because of that. Right now, Democrats are the worst evil. But later, Republicans will be the worst evil again. So instead of ping-ponging between these two, of course you're inclined to go to a third party or a fourth party or whatever. You want to join the Libertarian Party or the Green Party. Those are the two biggies in the United States, it seems. The Libertarian and Green Party are always the third parties that seem to pop up. Why are they called third parties? Because they'll never win. Because the voting system keeps them out. So we're going to stand here and bicker. We're going to argue over, oh, well, you, everyone should just vote third party, and if everyone would vote the way they felt instead of voting for the big two, we wouldn't have a problem. Except we would. Because first past the post says there will always be two parties, and a third party is a tool to wrench votes away from a second party. You see, with first past the post voting, if you have ideals that align most with the libertarians, but then... They also align somewhat closely with Republicans, so if you were in only a two-party system, you would normally vote Republican because they are the closest to your ideals, although obviously not a perfect fit at all, but they're the closest at this point to your ideals, right? First past the post requires that you cast one vote for one person, not vote for two or three people. You cannot vote Republican, you can only vote Libertarian. Or, if you strategically vote because, well, nobody else is going to vote Libertarian, so if I vote Libertarian, it's a wasted vote. Now you vote Republican, not because that's how you feel, not because you like banning abortion, or because you like banning video games, or because you like the good old boy network that a lot of southern states pull. You're voting Republican because you don't want to waste your vote. That's strategic voting. That's bullshit. But it's all also required under first past the post because what happens is people who would vote Republican vote Libertarian and then the Libertarians lose. They would have voted Republican, the Republicans would have won if the Libertarians that aligned with them didn't bail. But politics should not be this adversarial system where you have to pick the winner. They should be a system where you pick who you want to represent you, who is closest to your ideals, 
And you should be able to say, but if that person doesn't win, then I would like this person to win. And if that person doesn't win, I would like this person to win. So you should be able to say, I like this person the most, they, closest, they most closely match my ideals, but then I like this person, eh, not quite as much, and this person, you know what? I would take that person over the last person any day, and I would not give the last person any chance whatsoever. You should be able to vote the way that you feel, the way that matches your ideals, the way that makes you represented best in government. However, under first past the post, that will never happen because you will vote the way that minimizes the harm to you at the time and the way that you think you have to vote based on the way you think other people will vote. And you may not even vote at all. After all, think about what happened here in the 2022 midterms. There's gonna be a big red wave. Don't worry about coming out and voting, Republicans. And the Republican turnout, eh, was still pretty good. But how many would have gone to vote? I mean, it happened in 2016 to the Democrats. Oh, Hillary's gonna win in a landslide. Literally everyone says Hillary's gonna win in a landslide. There's no need to turn out to vote for Hillary because Hillary's already gonna win. Literally everyone told us Hillary's gonna beat the crap out of Trump and Trump won. Because the Democrats that are lazy voters that shouldn't be voting in the first place decided, oh well, since Hillary's just guaranteed to win because literally everyone told us that she's guaranteed to win, let's just go out and have dinner somewhere instead. Let's not wait in voting lines. Let's not put in any effort to vote. So it's happened to both sides. The problem is that there are sides in the first place. And the sides exist because of first-past-the-post voting. Everyone who talks about third parties, who complains about people not voting for third parties, who whines about libertarians losing and losing, Losing and losing every single election. You can't win because the system is designed such that you will never, ever win. You have to fix the voting system. Nothing else you think matters. Libertarians, listen to me. Listen carefully. You don't matter because the voting system makes you not matter. And you can jack your jaws about liberty and freedom all you want, but the truth of the matter is if you do not have political power, you do not have a voice in the process, you do not have the ability to exact the changes you want to see, you don't matter. So you need to focus on the one thing that makes you not matter. The voting system. The voting system keeps you out. It, it is not that the Democrats and the Republicans uh, and the populace is just stupid. It's that the voting system forces you out. But you're not going to do that because that's what you do. You just run around going, oh, boo-hoo, we're the third party. We never win because of the fact that we're underdogs. It definitely has nothing to do with the entire system being set up to gravitate towards a two-party system and gerrymandering and poor representation and fear-based voting and all that. No, it's just because people are dumb. If we can just convince enough people to think in the libertarian way, then the libertarians will finally be able to get power. That's not how it works, stupid. Until you work on the voting system that keeps you out, until you focus on dealing with that problem above everything else, until this happens, you are never going to be in power. And you are useless. And I will be forced to bounce my vote between Republican assholes and Democrat assholes. You won't get off your assholes to fix the problem that's keeping you out. I'm Jody Bruch on politics. Tune in next time. God knows what I'll be screaming at my camera about now. Take care. <laughs>